All right, here's load number one, guys, so far. Uh, freezer, bicycles, I've got to get rid of all this crap and a whole bunch of loose stuff down the front. So as you can see, i got a full load here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all this. And that freezer is packed full of small stuff. So it is heavy. Um, so this is load number one. Uh, I'm gonna try for a second load, uh, but I gotta go give my niece a hand. Uh, she's not off, she's off today, she's not feeling good. Uh, so I'm off to give her a hand after this. So, and then I'm gonna try and get another load in, but we'll see what happens. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys what I had on, because you never get to seem to get a view. All right, so I'm at the furnace place, guys, and they got more of these. These ones here are definitely scrap, so. But they're heavy, and this box is full, and I won't be loading the box. I'll just be taking the stuff out of it. And then what you can see in here, guys, that's it. Take a buoy down in there. Boo. Be stainless, more aluminum, more aluminum top. All right, I guess we're gonna just load it so we can move on. I still gotta go. I've got one load today, guys, so far done. I don't know if I'm gonna get the second one in or not, guys, at this rate. Uh, I'll try my best, but we'll see. All right, moving on, guys. Guess what, guys? We got the blonde on the stripper pole. <laughs> I gotta get it down, mount it down, guys. <laughs> it's a little tipsy. We gotta put the tractor on and hold it down and then I can really get her to do it. What do you think of that, guys? The blonde on the stripper pole. <laughs> uh, what do you think, guys? We can make it work. Yeah, we can make it work. <laughs> uh, well, not super secure. No, but if I put the, uh, the tractor on the top of it, it would hold it down. It wouldn't even move. Cause the weight of the tractor's bucket would just hold it straight. It wouldn't even move it. Okay guys, as you can see, all the wires gone out of it guys. So this is what I get out of them. This is out of two stoves. The other cord, I don't know where I did with it yet. Oh, it's here, on the, here it is right here guys. There's the other cord. Two cords from it, and that's all the wire that I get out of two stoves. So one stove, two stove. And that's what I clean out of them guys. Took all the wire out of them. Cause it's a mitt full of wire. It's a good chunk. So clean them guys. It's not that hard, take the backs off them. Takes a few minutes. Cut the wire out of them. It's easy money. All right, that's it. Load number two, guys. We got two stoves on. One has got the glass top, which makes it really heavy. And the other one isn't so bad, but I tried to mirror, as you can see, so they can't be moved. Because I don't want them flying off and then all that other stuff that I picked up. And there's just more on there. But she's a load, guys. We got a load on there. So here you go, as you can see. I got Tara Lee with me. She's not feeling good today. But uh, she's still got a sense of humor with her today, guys, and she's not feeling good. As you'll see in the video, I'm sure. We're at the yard, even Tara Lee's unloading it, as you can see, and there we go, guys, we are at the yard. We're at the big yard, not the little yard. The old yard doesn't want to pay. <laughs> so that's why we're at the big yard, where the money is. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Alright, so here's the tickets from today, guys. Remember the load I took in? This was the first load. The first load was 540 pounds and it's still 185 a net ton. So I had 49.95 for just that. Uh, well, you saw the first load, guys. It was the one with the. Uh, I, I don't even remember what I had on it. Uh, the freezer that I filled it with small stuff and all the other stuff I threw on. So there's just the one ticket. That was from this morning, and then when I picked up uh, Tara Lee, um, we ended up coming back out and I threw another load of steel on, one off full load of steel. Um, I had a hundred, what did I have? I had 560 pounds, so not much difference between my load that I did by myself. I had 540, and then when, when we came out and put on, we had another 560 pounds of steel, which was 5180, guys, for that load. Plus I had um, a normal size battery and like a car like a tractor battery like just a small one so I was getting 33 cents a pound I had 54 pounds of batteries 1782 for two little batteries and then I had that blue box that had those motors in it 40 pounds of them at 22 cents a pound I got eight dollars and eighty cents for those so that one came to 7840 so the two tickets together as you can see uh, there you go that's not bad at all but about 100 and what 20 so we got 70 so 128 yeah around 128 dollars a little over that i guess so that's not bad guys 
for pretty much just throwing on steel that I had down in the bottom yard and the only goodies I threw on which was ready to go batteries and the motors were in the blue box and I didn't even touch any more of my the extrusion yet guys I still got another full load of that to go out yet and a mess of other stuff I got to get going out of the uh, up there in the, the front yard and a lot of it's all a lot of it that's not clean is going right inside to be dealt with this winter when we get the snow on the ground here because I don't have time I've got more pickups coming this weekend so for me it's another work weekend and it's a long weekend here too to boot that so we'll see how it goes guys Tirely's gonna help me on Sunday Saturday I uh, don't think I got any help I think I'm doing it on my own so we'll see what happens anyhow all right thank you for watching